Hello everyone, this is John Andrews, Social and Digital Media Manager for Redboard Information Assurance. Today I'm going to do a little video tutorial on how to use the password managing application called Keychain Access on a Mac. A lot of Mac owners aren't even aware of this application and how beneficial it actually could be to managing your passwords. Uh, it's actually common for people to use the same password for virtually every account uh, that they have online, which isn't a good idea. Uh, once hackers have access to one of your passwords, then they'll try to pat that password along with your account name on every other site to see how many they have access to. Uh, the best way to avoid this is to use a password manager like Keychain Access to handle all of your passwords with ultimate security. Uh, so this is how you get started. Uh, start on your Mac by clicking or pressing at the same time Command and the space bar and this will bring up the spotlight window or you can just simply click on the magnifying glass in the top right corner here. Uh, depending on what operating system you have it might look a little different uh, than mine. In this case I just upgraded my operating system to Yosemite yesterday and I actually love it. So at this spot type in keychain and it should pop up with keychain access. Uh, once this pops up you can go ahead and press enter or return and it should bring up the user interface. Here you can view a multitude of things ranging from passwords uh, to secure notes that you may want to create or have created to ensure nobody has access to them but you. Uh, under my passwords, I mean, you can see the different accounts that your password already has stored for you that you may not have already known about. Uh, but let's say you want to see what your, uh, let's just see you want to see what your Evernote password is. So I will simply just click, double click on Evernote and down here I will click on show password and then whatever your uh, login password is for this application or, or better yet just to log into your Mac you would simply just type it in and then allow and then it'll pop up uh, under this little window right here but I'm not going to do that because then you'd have the password to my Evernote uh, account. <laughs> so I mean uh, play around with it because there are a lot of different things you can do with this. Uh, you can store all your different passwords on here if you want. Uh, the cool part I like about this is that you can actually uh, create a secure note. And I will show you how to do this real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. Delete okay yeah so like I know a lot of people who have Macs they like to use the stickies app down here to put like a lot of their username and passwords on just so they like remember what uh, account goes with what password and I mean that's fine but that's if you're the only one who uses that computer now if somebody uh, starts to uh, access your computer and then gets into the stickies app and then sees all of these passwords and accounts that you have they can easily access all of your private information online and that's not good so uh, this is why I'm showing you how to use keychain access because it actually is pretty beneficial in storing all of the different uh, accounts and passwords that you would perhaps store on the stickies app so to do this I'm just going to show you how to do one real quick so uh, make sure secure notes is highlighted and then down here where the plus icon is uh, you're gonna you're gonna click that to create a new sticky now uh, not not sticky but a secure note so uh, under keychain item name I would just put something that's pretty self-explanatory to make uh, help you remember what it is so in this case I'm just gonna say uh, gmail account number one and down here in the note is where you would put your gmail account so let's just say username at gmail.com and then like below it you would put your password or whatever your password it would be like I love dogs three or in this case I'm just gonna put password uh, and then after that you would just click add or return uh, to add it into your keychain access uh, of secured notes now that right there is something that's gonna show you what your password and username is but it's locked so meaning if I were to close this out and I go back in the keychain access I have it there but when I double click on it nobody can see what that note says unless of course I open it and in order to do that I will show you you just click on the show note checkbox and then this password will come up so you just type in the password that you created oops, 
and then it'll pop up right here. And then that way there you have secure, uh, a secure way of storing all of your passwords. And like I said, under the passwords category, it's a good way of recovering all of the passwords that you have already stored in here that your uh, Safari browser or Google Chrome browser or whatever browser you use uh, will store for you automatically on here. So you can see like Spotify, uh, Mint, uh, Evernote, GameKit, GitHub, uh, which is uh, programming. Uh, you can upload all your programming code on. Uh, Chrome, Apple ID, you know, stuff like that, or AIM password. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's really easy. It's very convenient. I actually just found this out the other day, and I thought maybe, hey, why not, why not make a little video tutorial for everybody to see? Uh, there are other ones out there that probably show you more ways you can use this for password uh, storage, but in this case, I'm just showing you the basics and what you need to know to get started and it's pretty much it if if you have a whole bunch of passwords for different accounts and you just cannot simply remember all of them but it also creates a, a very very private way of uh, storing them so uh, that's it I uh, hope you enjoy it uh, in the meantime uh, check out our company uh, website at www.redport-ia.com where we offer quality information insurance and computer security. And uh, also follow us uh, on our social media accounts that I will store down in the description bar. Uh, if you would, that would be great. And in the meantime, I hope everybody has a great day. And yeah.